do this when you get paid if you want financial stability and wealth creation in your life the moment you get paid Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am financial planner Canna Campbell and this is Sugar Mama TV where I am here every Thursday afternoon to give you a bite-sized video that helps inspire, motivate and educate you when it comes to all of those very important, exciting and amazing financial goals and dreams. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And of course that notification bell is switched on. All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about a great banking ritual. That is what I recommend you do the moment you get paid. Now the reason why I'm recommending this is actually to keep benefits. The first thing is when you have a great banking ritual in place, you create so much financial stability in your life. There's none of this running short before payday scenarios where you're having to pinch money, other accounts, or even worse, having to lean on a credit card or borrow money from a friend or a family member. When you learn this banking ritual, it actually makes you and forces you to correctly and responsibly ration out your cash flow so that you get to the end of your pay cycle and in fact, you should actually have a little bit left over, which of course we can then put towards our goals. Now, the second reason I recommend having this great banking ritual is because you're actively working on your goals and we're creating a ritual, a routine. You don't even think about it, you just do it. But by doing this on a regular basis, honoring the tradition, it will help you identify opportunities and ideas to actually help you achieve your financial goals in a more efficient way. Perhaps achieving that goal sooner or perhaps even overachieving that particular goal. All right, let me break you through the five steps that I recommend. Now, if at any time you're thinking, wow, I wanna learn more about this, please don't forget you can register for my free budget and cash flow masterclass. I've linked the details in my video notes. And of course, at any time, you can enroll in the Sugar Mama Budget and Cash Flow Academy, where I show you exactly how to do your budget, how to create a matching cash flow system, and also how to factor in all of your important, exciting financial goals and dreams. But let's go back to this ritual, your banking ritual, for the moment, which you must do the moment you get paid. Step number one, transfer your pay into two to three different accounts the moment your pay packet hits your account. So the first account is your everyday account. This is for all of your short-term expenses, like a coffee, gym memberships, mobile phone, daily, weekly, fortnightly, and monthly expenses only. Your second account is your life slash financial float account. This is for any expenses that come up every two months, quarterly, biannual, every four months, and of course, annual and it allows an element of a float, which means that if anything happens out of the blue, you've got some money to help cover you as a buffer. So if you want, you can just stick with those two key accounts. And obviously I recommend using an online savings account for that second account so you're not wasting money on fees and hopefully can access a great interest rate. Whereas the first account, you just use your ATM debit card. Now the third account, should you choose to have this, which obviously I recommend, is for your emergency money. Any money that is left over after filling up the first account and the second account, you can put into this third account for your emergency money. Everyone should have emergency money and of course it is important that you have the right amount of emergency money. If you want to hear a video on how to work out how much emergency money you really need make sure you put a comment in the comment box below. Now I will point out if you do use an emergency money and you have a home loan and assuming that one of your goals is to try and pay off your home loan as quickly as possible, save time and interest, who wouldn't want to do that? Try and speak to your bank about setting up an offset account or a redraw facility so it's helping saving you time and money on your home loan in the short term. So make sure you deposit into those two or three accounts the moment your pay packet hits your account. By getting that money out of your account, it stops the temptation to spend it because it's no longer there. And what is in that first account is what has got to be rationed out to get you through the whole entire pay cycle. It will make you accountable, it will make you present, and it will make you feel responsible. Number two is to check your budget. If you don't have a budget yet, 
and I strongly recommend attending my masterclass or jumping in and doing the Sugar Mama Budget and Cash Flow Academy. You need a budget, but the moment you get paid, this is also the perfect opportunity to check your budget. You see, new expenses are always creeping and sneaking in. That is just a natural part of life. So you need to check your budget and make sure it's up to date. The second reason why you need to look at your budget is when you look at your budget with a fresh set of eyes and a different perspective, you may identify or come up with other ideas to help you save more money. And of course, the more money we can save, the more money we can put towards those exciting, empowering financial goals that we're all working on. Number three. Now this is a very special hack that I talk about in way more detail and actually show you in the Sugar Mama Budget and Cash Flow Academy. But it is called your schedule, your monthly schedule. And what I recommend you do is you have a list in your phone and in your journal, which has in chronological order, all the direct debits that come out of your account with the amount, who it is, and the date. This means that no matter where you are in the month, you can refer to this list and see what upcoming direct debits you have coming out, helping again you ration out your cash flow correctly. There is nothing worse than that embarrassing phone call, email, or text message letting you know that your direct debit bounced or dishonored and that you need to go in and fix it up. Also, by checking this monthly schedule, it will avoid the temptation of going and spending money that you thought you had for fun, but in fact, it actually is allocated for one of those other financial responsibilities that you've got coming up in your pay cycle. And by having it in chronological order, obviously makes it really quick and easy to check. Number four is to check your calendar. When you get paid, take a moment to check what your month looks like and the quarter. It's really important that you're aware of any financial responsibilities coming up, like special doctor's appointments, whether you've got your best friend's birthday coming up and you might like to buy them a present, maybe an anniversary or a religious festivity that you choose to celebrate. Be aware, be informed, be switched on, keep it real understand what your responsibilities are because having that insight will make sure that you stay empowered and in control at all times and you know when you can afford to spend safely and when you definitely can't because that money is allocated for that expense that is just around the corner that so many of us forget and we don't discover it until it's too late and we're scrounging around for money this is about breaking that pattern and that cycle by being informed of course through your new banking ritual and then finally number five is review and reread your financial goals. When we get paid, most of us, including myself, feel really refreshed, revitalized, and reinvigorated. We've got a nice fat pay packet into our account, and we feel this sense of motivation. So if you're like me, what I recommend you do is strike while the iron is hot. Look at your goals and reread them. And take a moment to ask yourself, what can I do which will help me achieve this particular goal sooner and more efficiently? How can I get my money working for me better? What could I possibly do this pay cycle that could make free up an extra $10, $20, $30, whatever it may be, that I can actually put towards this important financial goal of mine? By rereading your goals, you'll also stay motivated and focused. You'll have so much more self-control when temptation naturally comes your way, and you will know exactly what is worth sacrificing and what isn't. This is so incredibly important. In fact, I read my goals every morning and every night as well as on my payday. So I jump out of bed each morning knowing exactly what I want out of life and I go to bed at night dreaming about my goals and allowing my brain to get really creative in thinking about my goals and dreams. But it is an absolute minimum. Reread these goals the moment you get paid. Again, it will empower you to be more responsible with rationing out your cash flow and break that cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, of course. Notification bell is switched on and let me know if you want more budgeting and cash flow hacks. As you guys know, I'm a financial planner and I'm here to help you achieve all of those exciting goals and dreams for 2024.